ladies and gentlemen, Louis Ramey. I have two jobs. I'm a stand-up comic and I'm a traveler. I performed in 40 countries. Went to China, India. I went to Singapore. Nothing like being in a country where you're the tallest person in the country. <laughs> Little kids were calling me Shaq. <laughs> when it comes to the world of comedy, they don't pay you to be funny, they pay you to get there. I travel 60 cities a year, and that's not counting colleges. And in each town, whoa, I check out the scene. The food. Mm. You're pretty good, though. And the people. And use it in my show. You have to find the unique thing that when you say it, everyone in the audience goes, oh, yes, I never really thought about that. I was recently in central Canada. It's very cold there. It's one of those places, as soon as you get off the plane, you think, my god, this is the worst place on earth <laughs> to shoot a Girls Gone Wild video. Ooh, yeah, I got something for you. I'll show you right now. I got this cover, girl. Ah. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get it. Just hold on a minute. Ah. One more. You're gonna see the world through my lens, what I see when I go to a city. It's been a great week. I went to Vegas, I've been to Connecticut, and now I'm in Boston all in one week. This gig's just like any other gig, except that there's a camera crew following me. I didn't know that much about Boston, except for the accent. You know, packed a kai, <laughs> glass of water. Unless you're Kennedy, then it's packed a kai in the water. <laughs> uh, too soon? When I get to a city, I try to find experts that know the area. And this is the first public park in the U.S. Uh, it, was, uh, it was founded in 1634. It's older than the United States. Rob Crane has a encyclopedia amount of knowledge about the Freedom Trail. He knows the history, the history of the history. So this is the Blackstone Block right here. A lot of taverns here. Up until Prohibition, voting happens in taverns. Wow. This is the Union Oyster House, oldest restaurant in the U.S. This is the Bell and Hand Tavern, oldest tavern in the U.S. This is the Green Dragon Tavern, and the Green Dragon Tavern was, uh, was where many of the secret meetings alleged the revolution took place. Well, why did it say 1773, 1776? What do those dates mean? I look at this every single day. Did I just... Did I just stomp you? You did just stump me. Why would it say 1773, 1776? I just the expert! <laughs> 76 has some associations Wait right here. to me. Excuse me, there are two dates under the sign out front. Yep. What do they mean? So, I run in, I want to find out about the, the dates, and this young lady who's been working here, your answer was? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She doesn't okay, know. In my defense, I've been working here three days, so... That I'm... should have been the first thing they taught you. Here's your uniform, this is what those dates mean. <laughs> Could you explain to me why uh, the sign has two dates, 1773 and 1776? Because that was the period of much unrest here in Boston. And it inspired people at the Green Track to protest British rule. Oh, okay. Has anyone ever told you you look a lot like Liam Neeson? Yes. Oh, Jesus. Are you serious? No. I will find you. Wow. Yeah. What are the chances? We found colonial Liam Neeson. What is this? So this right here is our new Boston City Hall. Wow. Yeah, it's really ugly. It's, we built it like this on purpose. And in 2006, it was voted the ugliest building in the world. In uh, the world? In the world, yeah. Did you realize that City Hall, your City Hall, was voted the ugliest building in the world? <laughs> the ugliest building in the world? You know, there's some guy in Mumbai that owns a tenement building going, whoo! <laughs> See, I told you, the uh, Venetian blinds, it changes the whole look of the building. Oh, thank you, Boston! Yes! You are number one! You're here at Boston Harbor. If you're going to do something on the water in Boston, it should be lobstering. Okay, we ready? I'm ready. We need to get you suited up so you yes. don't get all wet ready. and dirty. Wet and dirty, that was my nickname in college. Captain Fred uses his boat just step into it. to both go lobstering and to take locals and tourists around to show them the beauty of the Boston area. I don't know if the boat's rocking or I'm channeling Fred Sanford. Here we go. 
adjust this up a little bit for you. I've actually only been fishing full time for a year because I was a teacher. You've only been fishing full time for a year? Other than that, I fished in the summer. So how long have you lived in the Boston area? Oh, I was born here. Have you ever lived anywhere else? Only when I was in the service. <laughs> have you ever wanted to live anywhere else? Florida would be nice in the winter. <laughs> I love doing this. This is a part of life for him. His grandfather was a fisherman, his father was a fisherman, and now his son was fishing. All right, Lewis, come on, let's see what you're made of now. It's not tough to get a lobster. There's a milk crate, you drop it in the ocean. Take care. Boy! You come back in three days, you pick it up. I wanna catch one with a shark in it. Got it? Come on, Papa! Let's see what we've got. <gasps> lobster! Oh, look at the size of that. What we're gonna do, and I'm gonna show you how to band them. Right. Squeeze Excuse these me. two claws together. Right, got it. That's fine. Turn them Open. this way. Turn. Turn. See, I knew you'd be a professional. Wow. You ever see that show, The Deadliest Catch? Where they're pulling up all those pots of crab and, and boats, just like 20 foot waves and everything's covered in ice? This is nothing like that. It's a miniature version of that. It's like the safest catch, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good lord, you can't, you can't catch hepatitis easier. <laughs> and we're here in Jamaica Plain. I'll tell you something about Jamaica. It ain't plain. Nothing's plain about Jamaica. And we're here at Doyle's Cafe. <laughs> Doyle's Cafe. This is the first place in the United States to serve Samuel Adams. And it's not only a bar, it's sort of a fixture of the community. Nothing, nothing's fancy. It's, it's, it's the place to be over the years during wars, depressions, everything else. This was the place to come. All the walls in this building, there's not a copy of anything on any of these walls. Wow. It's, it's all original. If you notice that picture of the Pilgrim's Landing, yes. you'll notice that the artist was not good at doing hands. So you see the absence of fingers on all those murals. I don't know how you become an artist and you can do this, but can't do this. What would you suggest I get? We're famous for a lobster roll. How can you go wrong? I'm not a big fan of lobster rolls. It seems like a waste of lobster. It seems like they're trying to take a lobster and make it potato salad. There you go. Wow. You That's a lot of lobster. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Yeah. Let's get a lot of clothes up there. Work fast, fellas. Work fast. <laughs> this looks like five lobsters are on this. If you can't finish it, we'll put it into gold packs. Oh no, 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 no. I'm finishing it. Are you taking enough photos? Yes. All the photos are taken. Mmm. That's amazing. There's tons of lobster meat and just enough lettuce to add some freshness. Bread is perfectly toasted. Doyle's is my type of place. I like a bar that looks like my favorite pair of jeans. They're not new, they're a little worn, they've got some imperfections, but it feels right. Ah, oh, this, is, this is what Cheers should have been. This is like a family, you know? There's a lot of great people that work here, there's a lot of great people that come in. I want to be part of this family! <laughs> I want to be part of All this family! Alright, you can, you can. How would you describe Boston as a whole? I wouldn't describe Boston as a whole. <laughs> oh, you mean as a whole? Boston, I love your cream pies, I love your baked beans, I love your terriers. You are really the perfect city.